Welcome to Brit Lab. Today we're going to be finding out how little cleaning you can get away with. As an infection doctor, I am a dirt aficionado. I have more words for dirt than an Eskimo has for snow, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm clean. When it comes to cleaning of any kind, the thing I want to know is what is the bare minimum I can get away with? My wife calls it laziness, I call it efficiency. Either way, I thought I would combine my professional expertise with my personal efficiency and see where the bacteria in my house really are. You might think that a good candidate for dirtiest place in my house would be the toilet bowl, but if you think about it, at least once a day, most of us in this country put bleach into this area. So this is white porcelain covered in bleach and then washed with chlorinated water. This is not a good place for bugs to grow. This is actually one of the cleanest places in the house, and to prove it, I'll swab it. We're gonna to have to look elsewhere for the bugs. So how does the toilet compare to other things you use every day? Well, how about your phone? Think about it, when was the last time you actually cleaned this? And dropping it in your pint glass doesn't count, I'm afraid. You hold it close to your face, covering it with face germs, and then keep it in warm, damp, moist conditions in your trouser pockets. Absolutely disgusting. And what's more, 75% of people will admit they're using their phone whilst on the loo. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to get this. This is a, uh, a private call. Do you mind just giving me a sec? Hello? Studies show your mobile can contain up to 10 times more bacteria than a toilet seat, which gives a new definition to the idea of talking dirty. Oh yeah. Then consider your wallet and the cash inside it, which has come into contact with thousands of filthy people. Next up, the dreaded chopping board. According to studies done by the University of Arizona, there are about 200 times more fecal bacteria on the average cutting board than on a toilet seat. Some of those fecal bacteria will be from meat from animal feces. And that's why professional chefs use separate boards for meat and for fruit and veg. And think about the bottom of your fridge. When was the last time you honestly cleaned out that veg and salad drawer? Now I could go on and mention things like the remote control, the bin, but there is one thing I think is likely to win this particular battle hands down. The dishcloth has the mother flipping mother load of bacteria. According to several studies, it has up to 200,000 times more bacteria than the average toilet seat. To quote Professor Charles Gerber of the University of Arizona, if aliens came from space and studied bacterial counts, they would probably conclude that they ought to wash their hands in your toilet and crap in your sink. Nice. Aliens crapping in your sink. University College London analysed my swabs and we found that my phone had as many different bacteria as my toilet, while the kitchen table had more than the bin. And the five pound note was just as filthy. The dishcloth only had five types of bacteria, but there were billions of them. In fact, there were more bacteria on the dishcloth than there are human beings on the planet. So how worried should we be about all these bacteria? Is it time for me to smear myself with antibacterial soap and run screaming into the street? No, it's not. We're just beginning to understand the interaction of our immune system with all these bugs in our environment, but it seems like they probably do us more good than harm. They tickle the immune system and help prevent diseases like asthma, eczema, and hay fever. So to answer my original question, how little housework can you get away with? Well, I would be guided by your sense of smell. If the sponge smells, if the sheets smell, if the vegetable drawer smells, clean them. Until then, I personally wouldn't lift a finger. Cleanliness is a relative concept. Probably the dirtiest thing in my house is my cat's anus, and he spends his entire time licking it. There you go. <laughs> of course, you can share your own household tips below and troll all the other people who are also making comments. Please subscribe to Brit Lab.